Okay, thank you for bearing with me and sorry for the interruption. Um, we need to show that uh, the area is equal to this. Therefore, um, what I'm going to do is um, we're going to be differentiating first of all this substitution x is equal to u. So if we have x is equal to sorry e to the u and we need to differentiate differentiate this, I'm going to get dx is equal to e to the u again. All right. So where can we go from here? Now we know that uh, the equation of the curve is y is equal to ln x square. So basically, we are um, if we have to find the area, we need to integrate this function. So a is going to be the integral of ln x to the square dx. Now we know dx just found dx to be e to the u, and we know ln x. What is ln x? So if we go back there. Here we are. This is um, where is it? Uh, okay, no, I didn't find it. Okay, so that's fine. That's quite easy, anyway. And um, if we have x is equal to e to the u, and we need to find ln x, that is going to be ln x is equal to u ln e, and ln e is one. Therefore, u is equal to ln x. So here we are. So ln x is equal to u, and uh, so the area is then given as um, ln x, which is u, so u square, um, dx, which is e to the u, du, all right, because this is dx by du anyway, all right. And uh, from here, we found the limit earlier on, and the limits, uh, there were 1 and 0. Okay, so we're going to put 1, 0, and here we are. The area has been shown to be in this form. For the third part, uh, sorry, for the fourth part now, we're moving quite fast. Okay, we need to find the exact value of this area. So, how are we going to find? We have to integrate this to be able to find the area. So, this is basically integration by parts, where we know that the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. Okay, so we're going to be doing it, all right, and uh, by using late, the technique of late. So what do we have? We have u to the square. This is um, u square il is algebraic. Now, this is algebraic. You have ln, which is the natural logarithm. You have uh, exponential function. The exponential function is the last one, but algebraic is first. So we're going to be using this as first. So I'm going to say that uh, u is equal to u square. And um, we're going to differentiate du over du is equal to 2u. All right. And then I'm going to say dv is equal to e to the u because this is coming the last. So I'm going to take the exponential form the last. Integrate this back, you are going to get v as uh, e to the u. So just apply it now and we're going to be saying it is equal to uv and u is u square, u is u square and this is v, e to the u. So we have u square times e to the u minus the integral of v du, v is e to the u du is 2u all right and this is du okay so uh, what can we do we can put the 2 outside because it is a constant so we have u square e to the u minus 2 all right times um, e to the u u du okay so now we're going to have to do the um, integration by part my parts again because this is this part is we have in two functions here one is algebraic one is uh, exponential so again we're going to be using late so we're going to say u is equal to u and then dv is equal to e to the u so du then is equal to 1 integrate this back you're going to get v as e to the u again so you're going to be using this uv and vdu okay vdu all right so now where do we go from here all right, so this is it. Now we have u square e to the u. Let's put it here. u square e to the u minus 2 
and then inside we're going to be having the integral of this and the integral of this is here uv this uv so uv u is u and v is e to the u so i got uh, u times e to the u okay minus the integral again of v du v is e to the u and this is one du is one so v du so e to the u times one is e to the u all right now we quite ready to go further so u square e to the u minus 2u e to the u and then minus minus becomes plus 2 times the integral of e to the u the integral of e to the u is basically e to the u so minus minus plus 2 times e to the u e to the u is common so maybe I can put this outside e to the u and inside we left with u square minus 2u plus 2 now just for us to apply the limits and what are the limits they are 1 and 0 the upper limit minus the lower limit so I'm going to be saying now the exact area is going to be e to the u so e to the power of 1 into um, 1 square minus 2 times 1 plus 2 all of that subtract away um, e to the u and u is 0 so e to the power of 0 into u square so that is 0 square minus 2 times 0 plus 2 so I got <clears throat> 1 minus 2 plus 2 cancels out I got 1 to the square which is 1 1 times e to the power of 1 is e minus 0 0 so e to the 0 is 1 and in brackets what do we have we got 0 0 plus 2 we have 2 therefore I got 2 times 1 is 2 the area is e minus 2 and this is the exact value of the area e and here we are for the last part quite an interesting question quite intensive uh, with a lot of calculations a lot of integ uh, integration uh, especially when it comes to the techniques of integration I hope you've enjoyed this video take care bye